This is my book. It took me eight years to write this, and it's a compilation of all the knowledge I put together since 1993 when I started studying hardcore holistic nutrition and how to get the body well as fast and as cheaply as possible with the most conservative therapies. And notice how thick it is. It's not very thick. And let me explain why this book compiles all the greatest information together in the correct sequence and makes it applicable to get your body healthy. In my career, I've collected a lot of books, and some of them are encyclopedias. I had an encyclopedia on cancer, and this is a textbook of medicine, and this goes back many decades. But there's a lot of encyclopedias which are pretty allopathic, meaning they treat a disease, a symptom, or a condition, and they're not necessarily healing the whole body. Here's a couple books on biohacking, but that's not really healing the whole body. Here's some books on homeopathy and herbology and vitamins and minerals. But in those books, they talk about how to allopathically treat the body, the conditions, the diagnoses, the symptoms, the lab results, instead of healing the body. Of course, there's books on organs, such as prostate, heart, and nervous system and digestive system. All of this information is valuable, but as a consumer, where do you start with your health? Here's books on lime, mold, and yeast, and these are legitimate because they're treating an underlying cause, and I call these unlucky exposures. If you have lime, you got bit by an insect and that's unlucky. And there's other unlucky exposures such as heavy metals, chemicals, and parasites. And when you get these things out, your body gets healthier truly to the core, but you have to do it in the right order. And I talk about that in my book. Diet books are incredibly popular. And if you have a perfect diet, it doesn't mean that you're going to get better because of the unlucky exposures. I'm not disparaging any of these books. I own them. I've learned from them. I'm actually quoted in two of them. And you can spend the next 30 years studying all the things that I've studied and practicing with real life patients full time and going to all the seminars that I went to, or you could just read my book. Look how thin it is. Recently on my YouTube channel, I released a video talking about some of the concepts I talk about in this book. And one of my patients ran this, the text, through artificial intelligence to grade the quality of the information. And this is what AI said. It gave it an S tier. S stands for superb. It says, must consume original content immediately. It says, the content is rich with ideas and concepts, far exceeding the threshold for excellent quality. It also says it aligns well with themes of continuous improvement and unconventional thinking in medicine. The content is well-structured and informative, making it a valuable resource for anyone interested in health and longevity. The basis of this book is understanding the mechanism of chronic disease, which is in the middle here. You have causes of chronic disease, you have the mechanism, and there's actually 21 mechanisms, but the most common one is called lactic acidosis. And then you have symptoms here that come from organ dysfunction. Where I stand now with this is that you, you start with the mechanism of chronic disease, then you go after the causes, and then you can tackle the symptoms in that order. I did not create this. I got this from doctors of the 1930s, 40s, and 50s who figured this out back then. The mechanism is lactic acidosis, and it's represented by this graphic that I made. And when you understand this, then anything and everything in medicine and healthcare makes sense. And when you know this mechanism, you want to reverse engineer it to bring your health back. And you have to address the causes, of course, as I mentioned. But I figured this out in February of 2016 with my own health condition of mold. I read old material from 1959 and I read about this mechanism and I was like, oh, this is what I have. It wasn't until eight months later when I found the mold, which was my cause. But understanding this mechanism is how I started approaching my health and my patient's health at the same time and the results accelerated immediately. And now there's a few more people that I see on social media, on YouTube, talking about this mechanism. Understanding this is the future of medicine and there's lab tests to show that. I did not create this. This came from doctors of the 1920s through the 1960s who figured this out. How do you get rid of the causes and the mechanism of chronic disease? It's in these seven steps. The last step being step O for optimization, where you nourish the body. Step O can be done at any of the seven steps but you have to do it in this order most of the time. It only took me 30 years to figure this out. So buy my book so you can start your journey on transforming your mind and your knowledge about how to approach your health improvement. And I'd appreciate it if you gave me a meaningful review on Amazon Kindle after you read my book. Thank you.